to look like uh, Wayne's World. Okay, uh, welcome to Wayne's World. Party on, Garth. I guess. <laughs> I'm giving those vibes. This is um, from Walmart, and it's so comfortable. I showed it in this haul, and I'm actually kind of digging my outfit. I have those, those little... <laughs> If anybody's watching me right now because I'm at the airport, I have these on um, too. These are like the dupes from Timu. And speaking of what I'm wearing, I feel like this is the perfect time to go ahead and thank today's sponsor because I promise you guys, out of everything that I had put on, this is by far the most important, especially when you are traveling or even honestly when you're just at home, and that is my skims because I'm not about to go spend a half day to a full day traveling, running around, sitting at the airport, sitting on an airplane, and anything but the most comfortable intimates I own and that is skim. So the two pieces I was wearing on this day were the scoop bralette which you guys that I think is like one of my favorite pieces from them. I thought it was going to be the triangle bralette which is which is a real winner. I'm not I'm not denying that that one's not good but I thought it was going to be that one but actually the scoop bralette came and snuck by because I feel like it's like the perfect amount of like comfort meets support. And the other thing I was wearing was the dipped front thong from their fits everybody collection and again this is one of my favorites but honestly the entire collection collection it just hits it never misses like it's so lightweight and so buttery soft and so comfortable just look at this like look at this material look how lightweight it is but also how stretchy it is like this actually can stretch up to two times the size and not lose any shape and the material is just so soft it just like molds to your body it like conforms to you and really feels like you're wearing just nothing it's so comfortable there is a reason there is over a hundred thousand a hundred thousand five star reviews like it's just insane i'm slowly moving all of my bras and underwear out and moving skims in and ali said she's actually doing the same and also later on in the video i don't know if y'all will catch it if you remember she's wearing like a gray lounge set and you guys i almost ripped that thing right off of her i wanted it so bad i just okay, maybe i should have worded that differently but i want it so bad like i swear i'm gonna have to order it because like i just am obsessed y'all i i've really obsessed like I feel like I'm drooling on myself right now if you want to check out the fits everybody collection or any of their perfect fit essentials you can head to skims.com slash catnesbit to see all of it and shop around and you guys if you wouldn't mind if you do purchase anything if you'll just fill out the short survey at the very end and say that I'm the one that recommended you there I would very very much appreciate that but anyways we are gonna have a very 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 long day of travel if you cannot tell I'm already caffeinated up Excellent. Excellent. And we're probably going to keep that same energy throughout the day. Excellent. Today is already gone not so nice in the non-revving world. So basically, to give you a little bit of a rundown, me and Miss Allie are going to London to go to the Marks and Spencer Christmas event. I am so excited. I could not make it to their summer event. So I think the event comes before they actually launch all the seasonal stuff. I'm not exactly sure what to expect because I've never never been to one of these before but I am stoked I'm so excited but basically yesterday there was weather in Dallas last night we have four flights in the day all oversold and so most likely we're gonna end up on the jump seat on that and normally under normal circumstance that's cool it's a, it's a long flight it's like a nine hour flight but in this circumstance we're gonna have to hit the ground running as soon as we get to London so I'm just like I'd actually like to sleep and you are not allowed to sleep when Whenever you're jump seating so here's the game plan now I am gonna end up flying to Orlando and I actually gave myself two flights to get there before we're gonna take Virgin Airlines who I've never flown with before but you guys their uniform oh I wish I wish they have like the best uniform in the whole airline industry in my humble opinion which is like it's, it's a good opinion. So we're gonna end up what's called zetting. So basically zetting is the same thing as non-revving, just with a different airline that your airline has partnerships through. So it definitely depends on who you work for. Now I'm very, very lucky because my airline is a huge airline. So we have a lot of partnerships, which means that they're allowed to non-rev on our flights and we're allowed to non-rev on theirs. So non-revving stands for non-revenue passenger. So it basically just means that you are an unpaid passenger you're not paying for the flight now if it's international you might be paying the taxes which London has the most expensive taxes like I think for us to come back is like hundred and ninety dollars which I shouldn't be complaining because outside of that 
it's a free flight. Going is free, it's coming back that's not free. We need to gather up our things and go inside because we have to go through normal security because if any part of your trip at all for the day is gonna be international, not for business, so for leisure, you must go through normal security. So y'all know I had to bring my Bays bag. This is always what I use whenever I'm leisure traveling. And then I also have the Bays diaper bag, which don't sleep on this bag. It is a great bag regardless. And then this is just uh, my little camera holder. And then I also brought my little Ever Snug, my travel pillow blanket. noisy in here. I'm at the Orlando airport in like the little concessions area. Our flight was like 30 minutes delayed or so because there was like weather on the way over but we had like so much time because I gave myself two flights to get here so right now it's 3:47. Allie said she's gonna get here around 4 and I was like starving so I was like girly I can't I can't wait. So I ended up just picking up Wendy's so I just got nuggets and fries. So I'm gonna eat really fast. And then once she gets here, we have to go over, we're at Terminal B right now, so we'll have to go over to Terminal A. Look who it is. <laughs> you guys, I panicked because I went to go like check in for this flight because whenever I was trying to switch gates, you have to leave the terminal and then like come back through security and they could not find my listing. They were like, we have your ticket number, but you do not have a listing. And she, <laughs> she ended up um, fixing it, so I, I do have a ticket. I actually have a seat, and so does Allie. We're sitting right next to each other. So right now we're gonna go get donuts um, for the crew and give that to them, and then try to go to the lounge before the flight. <laughs> <We're> <laughs> Um, so we came to our gate to like get ready to board the flight because it was about to board and we found out it's actually marked with a three hour delay so Allie and I just sat here we're like this is the perfect spot to make a thumbnail as like people are going because it has like the airport behind us so we just look like dummies do it <laughs> right in the middle but um we're just waiting around like there's nothing we can do it's weather so all of the planes are grounded so even though there's a later flight we were talking about rolling onto that one but she said it's also it's, ground it's stopped ground hold, yeah, yeah so so, so we're just big chilling so we're gonna take a thumbnail and then i think we're gonna go back to the lounge <laughs> Okay, so a little update. We were up in the lounge and we were just sitting there having like coffee and some drinks and a little bit of snacks. And then we realized we were like, you know what? The time's not moving on this flight. It's saying three hours. So let's go ahead and just book ourselves on the earlier flight. and Or I guess it was the later flight that's now the earlier flight. And we're just gonna try our luck. We're gonna see if maybe we can get on that because if that one's only delayed 15 minutes. So that would get us there, I think two hours earlier than the other one. So that's what we're gonna do. But we forgot the treats up in the lounge. So Allie went to go run the ones that we bought for the crew. So we're grabbing those and then we're gonna hustle over to the other gate and fingers crossed we can get on that flight. So the weather kept getting worse and it was pushing the second flight back. So we just came to a restaurant to have an appetizer and some drinks. And while we were here, the first flight canceled. So we ran over to the gate to the second flight to see if they would let us on. And originally they couldn't find my listing once again, but the guy was able to do something and we got on and I have never been so excited. I truly thought that we were gonna end up stuck in Orlando. So we got our own little row to ourselves. I was watching Love and Death, such a good show. Allie was sleeping before dinner arrived. So I had a chicken pot pie and some like feta side. Allie ended up getting the pasta. They were both fine. I mean, it's airplane food, so I mean, <laughs> what can you do? And then Allie got some more sleep in there while I got absolutely nothing. And then breakfast showed up. I was actually happy with breakfast. It was like some sugary stuff, but really I was happy just to have coffee. I really, really wished I could sleep, but unfortunately I couldn't. And then finally we landed. So after we got off the airplane, we went through customs, which was actually really, really fast. I was super happy about that and then we had to find the Heathrow Express to take that over to the tube station and from the tube station we would take that to the hotel and as soon as we thought that all of our problems were over we shortly realized they were just beginning y'all can we just can we have a moment just just you and me right right here because 
these last two days of non-revving have just been like Murphy's Law. Like everything that can go wrong is just going wrong. So mine and Allie's original plan, because we have that Marks and Spencer event that we're supposed to be at at four o'clock, right? It starts at four o'clock. Well, we were like, okay, first things first, we're gonna go straight to the hotel, check in, get situated, we'll grab something to eat, take it back here, and we'll eat and get ready at the same time. Well, we came to the hotel, it was 12 o'clock, and they were like, check-in's not till three, and the lady was so sweet, she was like, you can just put your bags behind the counter over there, and then come back at 1.30, and I'll see if we can get the rooms cleaned ahead of time, I'll let them know you'll have this event you have to get ready for, all that. So we are like, okay, cool. So we went over to the Muffin Man, which has amazing breakfast. Like if you ever do like their, their full Muffin Man breakfast spread, you get like bang for your buck. But we both weren't like that hungry, so we just did like normal breakfast. Then we decided to come back to the hotel at 1.30 to see if we could get a room, and we can. So the guy was like, nope, I'm sorry, still not ready. There's really nothing that we can do. You're probably not gonna have a room until three o'clock. So guess what time it is? It's uh, three o'clock. So we just now got our room. I don't even know where the event is in, in, in my brain is like fried from lack of sleep. In position from where we are, I don't know the distance. So I don't even know how long it's gonna take us to get to the event. And, and we look like this. I haven't even showered. I haven't done anything. I need to brush my teeth. I need to put deodorant on. We gotta do hair, makeup, get glam. And and also turns out my booking for the hotel also got booked twice. So somehow I bought two rooms, which these rooms, even though they're really, really little, they are really, really not cheap. So don't know how that happened. So after I get off with you guys, I'm gonna have to call the hotel at the same time that I'm getting ready to try to get one of those rooms canceled and get my money back, which I don't know if that's even gonna happen because usually there's like a 24 hour cancellation thing. So. <laughs> Oh, oh, also, the flight that we actually made on here, we got the flight and everything, that was also delayed. We sat on the tarmac for another 30 minutes to an hour as well. So besides just like the first flight being delayed, then there was like the three hour delay, then there was the cancellation, then the next flight we actually got on was, was delayed. And then we had check-in problems with the room. So it has just been, it's been, you know? You know, bro. I'm exhausted, I'm tired, we just got coffee, so I'm gonna chug that, start getting ready, and call the hotel to try to get a refund for one of those rooms. How are you feeling, Allie girl? Thriving. <laughs> just thriving. thriving. Not, not the stand. <laughs> Allie's about to sing me a song as we get ready. I wanna go home, oh, 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 oh. Also, just so y'all can see it, this is our room with the, with the cute little um, singles, and then we have a stunning view. Look at look at that class, you know? You know, bro. So um, this is what's costing us a fortune. So this is gonna be my outfit of the night. I didn't know what the dress code is. So this is the best the best you get out of me when I don't know. It's just like a hodgepodge of stuff. Allie's getting her things. Our room is a disaster, you guys. But we are over an hour late, so we're gonna go ahead and finish packing everything up and then finally get a move on. So after we finally rushed to get ready, we took the tube station over to the venue, and as soon as we got there, there was a guest list to check ourselves in. And then as soon as we walked in, we met up with Harry, who was the lovely point of contact. He was absolutely so kind. So he kind of showed us around, and immediately we looked at the venue, which was incredible incredibly put together. It was gorgeous and there's like different stands that you can check out each one and they would have like displays so you can see everything they're releasing as well as different samples that you can try. But you guys, <laughs> Allie is gonna murder me for telling you this story but I have to because I was crying laughing in the corner. So like I said, there were displays that you could like see what was going on and then there were samples. Well, Allie wanted to try one of the things and actually, <laughs> and she actually ended up taking one of the cakes off the display and ate it and I had to pull her to the side and tell her it was a display and she was wondering why it was stale. Like that thing had probably been sitting there for hours. Like we were laughing so hard. We had so much fun before finally we had to go take the tube station back to the hotel for an early morning wake up. Hello. Oh, okay, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Ali. <laughs> the timing could not have been worse. That event was so much fun. I was so nervous going. I just didn't know what to expect, you know? You don't know who's gonna be there. You don't know how it's gonna be. I didn't I didn't know what it was gonna be like. And everybody was so incredibly kind. They were just like chatting with us. It was so much fun. And then we got to try out all of like Marks and Spencer's like new foods. And y'all, y'all, it was delicious first off if I got to try it. But secondly, it just looks amazing. But as you can see, we're also trying to pack everything up because it's gonna be an early one. We wanna be out of here by eight. So I think we're gonna wait up at like seven. 
look who's actually up this time hello <laughs> so we've just been getting everything put together okay but honestly why does my hair here look like a colonial judge like i look like <laughs> i look like i'm about to decide if somebody should be burned at the stake for being a witch like it's actually quite humbling there's certain parts i think there's at least three flight of stairs that we have to take the bags up and down whenever we're going <laughs> going back to the airport right now it's 7 35 and we were planning to leave here at 8 and Marks and Spencer opens at 8 so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna run in really quickly and try to get like an iced coffee and a water because like I have the worst dry mouth I like woke up with like the driest mouth and then I was just like anxious I think it's from like all the coffee and the energy drinks go figure that we drank yesterday because I think I had three coffees and an energy drink. I'm like up, down, up, down, up, down. Anyways, um, it looks like there's gonna be like six seats in premium economy and the back is like super wide open. So I've kind of been thinking, I'm like, girl, would you rather have premium economy where the seats like recline and they're like roomy or would you rather just go to the back and get your own row? Oh, I'm not yeah. sure yet. Yeah, yeah. Ali says the own row. own row. What would y'all do? What would you do in that instance? Because the seat is like, it's a bigger seat. It has like a nicer um, headset, which I brought my own headphones. I brought those ones that I showed you guys from that from that Timu haul, which are so comfortable. These were so comfy, but I'm just trying to think which way can I get the most sleep possible. Also, I got my liquid bag good to go, so I'm gonna just throw it in here and then throw it in that bag, so that way when we go through security, I can just get my laptop out, I can get my liquid bag out, everything's all in one spot. We're good to go. It's just gonna be like trying to get these off and then hold this when we have to go up and down stairs and stuff, but I, I think we're in. Lastly, can we just talk about how I convinced Allie that 23 was an acceptable room temperature? We started at 19. I was sweaty. <laughs>